Everyone else in Israel wanted God to give them what they wanted. Caleb said, I will follow you no matter what. I will wholly follow you all the way. That's his different attitude. He was wholly following the Lord. And so the Lord promises because of that, that he would make Caleb wholly victorious. And Caleb would take full possession of the promised life that you and I seek. Is there a chance that we've been duped by, by uh, let's say, uh, well, let's just say heresy, for example, that, that if we make a commitment or slip up our finger or repeat some words that God will fix everything in this life for us? Have we maybe been sold a bill of goods? That Jesus Christ came down from heaven and took on your sin and the sin of the world and died on the cross under the full wrath of God so that you could get a better job? So that you could get a better spouse? so that you could have more money or bigger lawn or whatever, another llama. Jesus doesn't say, I will fix all your stuff. Jesus doesn't say, I will make everything in this vapor of a life just how you want it. I'm like Robin Williams in the movie Aladdin, the big blue genie. You just tell me and I'll give it to you. He says, you're going to have trouble in this life. Why? Because you live in a fallen world where there's a little G gone who's in charge. But in Christ, we've overcome this world. In Christ, our victory is full and complete, and it's set. We wholly follow Jesus now. He makes us wholly victorious later. God has made a way for you to inherit all of his promise, and that way has a name, and his name is Jesus Christ, and all of your inheritance is in Christ. All of your victory is in Christ. All of your eternity is in Christ. It's not in the stuff of this world. It's in Christ. Caleb is living like those who are under the curse of God for 40 years, but the whole time, God had promised him whole victory, complete victory. So please, don't ask God for a shortcut. Don't make him your genie. Meet him. Here's the secret. Can I tell you the secret? Please hear me. Meet the Lord in the midst of whatever you're in the midst of, right where you're at. Seek Christ. Holy follow him. Know him more right where you're at because what God wants to do is he wants to reveal himself to you while you're on the way to ultimate victory. God wants to meet you where you're at. He wants to carry you through where you're at. He wants you to know him better where you're at until you receive the inheritance that's reserved for you. Amen?